Hey, pity friends. Nothing quite fucks up your Friday like finding out it's only Thursday, does it? Oh, well, there is some good news at least today, which is the postman's bin and I have my rings delivered. So these are my phone number rings. Um, ideally, any bird that can fly should have one of these because it's all right them having life rings. But most people who don't have anything to do with pigeons would not know what to do with that information. Um, so I always like to cover my arse by having alternative methods of contact information available on the bird. And therefore, the easiest thing I find is to buy myself a pack of rings and then clip those on the birds because they shouldn't just pop off. But if you did need to remove them, there is simple enough. Uh, I personally get mine off eBay. Uh, from a gentleman in Poland because I actually find it cheaper even with the conversion rate to buy 50 rings from him which come to around £20 with delivery than it is to buy them over here where it cost me 36 for probably around the same amount of rings. So now I'm going to be fitting them to my two youngsters and whilst I'm at it I'll also give them a coloured ring um, although at the moment I can tell them apart because of the size difference once they start to uh, catch up with each other it's going to be more difficult to tell them apart, so may as well do that now as well. So here we go. I've done this one already. There you go. Coloured ring at the bottom, phone number ring at the top. And now I'm going to quickly attempt to do this one, which is always tricky when you're on camera and being watched. I'll try not to get my hands in the way of the camera, although I can't promise thank you for that. Just to prove that, uh, yeah, this, this is the... Thing about working with animals i'm sure they say something about children as well but i can only comment on the uh, the former so pop that on there clip that shut the other one's trashing the office yeah yeah i know come here bend that ring open and then i'm going to keep it upright so that it can be read by anybody that gets hold of the bird pop it on there and then I'm just going to clamp that shut as well. And there we go. All done. And uh, there we have it. Meanwhile, the other one has now made it under there and is now probably dialing for help on the keyboard. Come on. You don't want to dial into that meeting just yet. There we go. So there we are. Now both of them are identifiable. And the only thing that's left to do is uh, decide on names for them at some point now. And then obviously train them to fly and so on and so forth. But again, we'll cover that in other videos. Won't we? Yes, we will. <laughs>